What's up, mamas? I'm Rebecca. You're watching the Reseller Mom Show. Thank you for joining me today for another What Sold Fast video. So today we're covering the week of January 12th through January 18th. I am not showing myself because I look completely crazy. I'm hauled up in my guest room. Everyone's still sleeping as usual. I had a clearance sale yesterday, which I'll talk about in a minute. It totally wiped me out and I look like pure craziness. So it's best just to look at the screen at this point. Um, do you want to share some really exciting stuff with you? We have um, all the items that sold for over $30. We have all the items that sold in less than two weeks. And actually, I'm just looking at my list now. All of the items that I'm going to highlight today sold in less than one week. I should have put that on my screen here, um, but I didn't realize it until now. And then we have about a total of 1400 in total sales for the week. So that includes some additional sales besides online sales, which I'll go over as well. So let's get started with the items that sold in less than two weeks, which is actually items that sold in less than one week of being listed. So first up is this really interesting Victoria's Secret signature print bra. Um, and I haven't been selling Victoria's Secret bras for very much money um, lately. I feel like they used to go for a lot more, but I do still pick them up. And this one sold for $15 on an offer in five days on Poshmark. This next item was part of a bundle. And so it didn't sell exactly for $12, but I was running a 50% off sale. And so she made a giant bundle you know, and offered me the 50% off. So these were part of that. It was an eight item bundle. She was so excited because she was going on vacation. And so she bought all this nice, you know, summery stuff. So these are just Forever 21, but um, I just thought that they were, you know, kind of cute and on trend with the, with the distress and they were also high-waisted. So I'm looking here and I don't even have that as a keyword. I don't know how that happened. Um, but so that was part of an eight item bundle, which was awesome. Oh, I'm sorry. And that sold in four days of being listed on Poshmark. Then next is this good old Grateful Dead graphic tank top. And this was a mighty fine tee. It wasn't like it was anything special or legitimate or vintage or anything. Um, but it did have the keyword band tee in there. Um, so I don't know if it was that or what, but this sold for $15 on an offer with free shipping on Mercari. And I had another sale of a band T type thing this week, which I just thought was really funny because I didn't feel like any of them were vintage or even original or legit, but you know, that keyword does wonders. Um, so this was, you know, just a fine sale. Like they're this came with items probably from airport lost luggage. And so when items come to me, it's not necessarily something I would pick up. As long as I'm getting something for it, I'm fine with that. This is a Torrid Super Soft Floral Tank. Um, and that sold on an offer for $20 with free shipping. On Mercari, that sold, and as well as the other Grateful Dead, um, those both sold on Mercari in four days of being listed. Oh my god, again, you guys know I should make this a thing. Like, my VA puts funny keywords, so this is, I don't even know what this is. Something, I don't even know what that means. Flower Fest, hashtag tanky panky. <laughs> Let's see what she put on this one. Nope, also tanky panky, hashtag art print, hashtag mighty fine. Like, I don't even know. All right, so next up is this shapewear from Wacol. And I always pick up shapewear whenever I can find it. Usually at the Goodwill thrift store, like the retail, it's usually not too expensive. Sometimes it's even 99 cents or $1.99. So most of the time I'm picking it up there. Um, but I have not been there in a while. These were from the bins, I'm pretty sure, or airport lost luggage I don't remember but um you know it there's always a good return with those so these were just on an offer for $13 because of the 50% off sale um and so that's fine with me because again if I got them at the bins they're obviously lightweight and if they came in airport lost luggage they came to me so that's fine 
They sold in four days on Poshmark. This was a great piece. I don't remember where I got it. I've had it for quite some time. If you're not familiar with this brand, Mage, I'm not sure how to say it. I felt like when I originally saw it a long time ago, because um, I sold one other piece from this brand and I sold it for quite an amount as well, I didn't think the tag was anything that special. Like to me, it actually looked kind of cheap. Um, you know, I mean, you could say that it's, I guess, a tacked on tag, but I just thought that this glittery lettering looked cheap. And if you've watched my channel for a while, I don't know all the brands, but I'm always looking at the labels and the tags and really trying to make determinations on whether it's something to look up or not based on the quality of the tag and the look of the tag. And that's kind of a key indicator for me. And this one I was kind of fooled by because I didn't think that this particular tag was very special. But um, it's a great piece. It's super heavy. It's so cute. Um, thank God I got this. I mean, it, you could tell by my photos that what it is, but I liked using the stock photo on this. Um, it's a Magda Mid-Length cardigan. It's so thick and so heavy. Um, and like I said, I don't remember where I got this, but it's definitely... I couldn't find the exact item, but as you can see, like a lot of the retail on these items are in the couple of hundred dollar range. I had it up for $149, and when I had the 50% off sale, I was prepared to sell it for like $75. And then someone sent a counter offer of $60, and I waited on it because I had sent out several other offers of $75 as part of the 50% off sale, and no one bit on them. This was going to expire this incoming counter offer for 60. So then I did finally in the last few hours of the offer being available, took the $60. And I actually thought that that was an interesting strategy that I may play around with a little bit more. If you have a high ticket item and you get an offer that is interesting, but lower than what you would really want, you might consider sending out a higher offer to all the other people that like the item and see if you can get it sold for higher than that offer before the original offer expires. Now you might say that that's like a terrible dastardly <laughs> thing to do and perhaps it is, but this one just kind of worked out that way. I wasn't planning on it. I had already sent out the $75 offers to everyone and then the $60 offer came in and I was like, you know, what if somebody would have taken the $75 off or they just haven't seen it yet? I'm not, I don't want to cheat myself out of, you know, $15. So it's something that I will play around with um, and let you guys know what I think about it. Maybe I'll do a video specifically on that as a strategy and see if it works because, you know, there are some items where you don't get maybe sometimes a super high-end item every day. And so you wanna squeeze as much out of it as you can when you can, but at the same time, you don't wanna let that perfect buyer squeak by you. And I've talked about that before. So this $60 person might've been my perfect buyer. Um, maybe not, maybe one of the $75 offer people were my perfect buyer and they would've paid that, they just hadn't seen the offer yet. Maybe no offers and someone would have paid the 149 if I had just left it. You never know. But I do think it's interesting and I'm going to look into it further. So that sold on Poshmark in two days of being listed. This is a Kashyyyk um, bra, which is a Lane Bryant brand. Love selling Kashyyyk, love selling the um, larger size bras. And this was a... Hello, where's the size of bra? Am I missing it? Oh, here, um, 42F, so a triple D, and um, this sold for $16. I did have it up, I think, for 29, but again, because of the 50% um, off sale, it sold for 16. And that sold in, sorry, my phone went away. Um, that sold in two days also. Next up is a Barefoot Dreams Cozy Chic Cardigan. These are fantastic sweaters. They are so buttery soft. I absolutely love them. I'm always tempted to keep them. I've only ever gotten two. I sold the other one for right around this or maybe it was somewhere between $30 and $50. I don't remember. 
Um, this I had up for $69 and because I had the 50% off sale, um, I did send out a $35 offer and the person jumped on it right away. So that sold for $35 and I'm fine with that. I got a great deal on it. Um, perhaps it would have sold anyway, but I think that was great for them. So that was um, a one day sale. And then here's the other band tee. And this is just Rock and Republic, which is a Kohl's brand. Um, so it's obviously recent, it's not vintage, it's not original, you know, it's just from Kohl's. But having the band tee keyword I think helps and it's just kind of fitting in line with that trend. Um, and it sold for an offer of $15 or may maybe that's what I had it. I might have had it for $15, but I just think that that is high for what that is and I'm happy to get it and I really wasn't expecting to get that. So $15 on this one and that sold in zero days of being listed. It sold same day, which was really funny. And then this one sold for $15. It did have free shipping, but again, Mercari has a lower fee. I just thought in the same week for both of those to go so quickly was really funny. Um, so let's go over the numbers and then I'll show you the over $30 sales. So let's start off with our breakdown. So eight items sold in less than two weeks. Those are the ones I showed you. And actually they sold in less than one week as well by the numbers. So I thought that was fantastic. Four additional items in less than a month, seven additional items in less than two months, seven items sold in two to six months, four, four items sold in six months plus. I'm okay with all of that. I will say I'm happy to see this number of items selling in less than two weeks up this week. I thought I had some great sales this week as far as what they were. I also had my VA go back to 10 listings a day. I'm really going to try to keep that going. I was down to five listings a day for a while just to kind of space out the photos I was taking, making sure that I could handle the workflow now that I'm doing all the photography myself and not working with the photographer. So hopefully I can keep up the pace and we can keep the 10 listings per day going. And perhaps I may even try to throw in a few like grind it out weeks where I do maybe 15 a day or 20 a day if I can handle it. You never know, we will see. Let's go over the general numbers. We sold 37 items on Poshmark. And again, this is sales. It shouldn't really say items, it should say sales. So if it was a bundle, like I said, that bundle was an eight item bundle. That's not showing here. That's showing as one sale because that's how it's just easier for my VA to pull it up that way. So the numbers are slightly off, but I still think it's generally fine. Um, so I do like to point that out. So it's 37 sales this week for a total of $623 in sales. That's on my Mom Roar Boutique um, main Poshmark closet. As you know, I do have a second closet and um, details perhaps may be coming soon on that, we will see. But I had 11 sales on there for a total of $340 and that was great as well. Down a little bit from the last two weeks, but I'm toying with how much effort I'm putting into that closet and really trying to see what my happy medium is between the two closets because one does take away from the other. So I'm really going to kind of work on this week what a good balance is, how little I can do to still get some sales on that closet um, and really toy with that. Once I kind of get things figured out, perhaps I'll be sharing more information. Um, one eBay sale, again, I have not listed anything on eBay since December 1st. So it's been well over a month um, and still randomly making sales. I'm fine with that. So it was one item for $30. Then on Mercari, I had three sales, which has been better than it has been. Um, and that was a total of $59 in sales. So overall, we're looking at 52 total sales, 150, one, no, sorry, $1,052 in sales and a gross ASP of give or take $20. So not too bad. I'm okay with that. Then if you look over here, I did a clear, uh, I did um, some sell back this week to the consignment stores. I took a bunch of stuff and I got $128, which is a little low for me, but the stuff that I was bringing was not as high quality as I usually do. It was very bottom of the barrel stuff and I'm actually 
surprised and happy with this amount because I didn't think I was going to get that much. Um, so 128 coming in from that. And then I did a clearance sale. Um, and I, I'm doing an Instagram post about it today with a little more information. But just the general number was that I did $258 from basically a garage sale with clothing only and everything is a dollar. Um, and I did $258. So that was great. And then I have three items. Okay, so that leads me to the $1,000 here plus these two. That's how I got to the $1,400 in total sales this week, which is great. If I can be tracking like that or more, um, I would be pleased all year long. Then we've got three items that sold for over $30. And that is the Barefoot Dreams cardigan for $35. So that was an over $30 plus a fast seller. Same with the mage. Um, and again, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, $60 sweater and that sold very quickly. And then the other was the eBay sale. So this is a Marika Tech um, full zip jacket. And I like this brand in that I see it every once in a while and I feel like it sells. I think it probably depends on what it is. Um, I don't know that I would pick up like all their leggings, but as an active wear, it must have some sort of a following. I don't know too much about it, but I feel like I have had decent luck with it. And like I said, this jacket sold for $30 um, and that was great. It was not a quick sale, but it was a $30 sale. So I thought that was just totally fine. So that's everything I've got for you for this week. Please like this video on the way out. Go ahead and leave me a comment. Let me know how your sales were or if you have any thoughts or questions on the items I showed you today. I do appreciate you watching. And if you'd like more reseller mom content, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. And I will see you on another video. Bye-bye.